Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls 4. Ooh, wow, I messed that one up all over the place because I wanted to say Skyrim, but this, of course, is Oblivion. Now, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. In the last episode, we completed this quest here, which is one of the more unique quests in the game. Uh, this was a quest to get our very own home in Anvil. Which we successfully did, although we did have to excise it or exercise it, uh, because uh, not exercise it like get it on a treadmill, but uh, exercise it as in uh, get the demons up on out of there. Because uh, yeah, there was a whole little subplot, and uh, it's ours now. We've got a, we've got another home. Of course, we're not going to use this one because we've got some cool DLC player homes. But you know what? It's nice to have, right? So yeah, very cool. Uh, we are going to go ahead and. Do some more side quests, I think. Um, yeah, let's take a look at what we've got. Let's scroll all the way down. We've got Caught in the Hunt. Aleron owed a great deal of money to an orc usurer. I'm not really sure how to say that name, but uh, I think usurer is right. Named Curden Gro Dragal. He went there a day ago to beg for more time and hasn't returned since. Curden Gro Dragal usually frequents the Lonely Suitor Lodge, which is close by. Perhaps I should pay him a visit. Uh, and then this started with, I've met your son, or son Loche, in Bravo, Breville. She's told me that her husband, Aleron Loach, is missing and she needs my help to locate him. I should ask her more about Aleron to help determine if I'm interested in helping. But guess what? This is a 100% playthrough, so of course we are interested in helping. So let's go ahead and head to Bravo. Uh, I think we'll do some side quests um, for now, until I basically get bored of them and want to move on to another uh, main quest line. Uh, because we've got a ton, and the side quests in Oblivion, I, I, as I've said many, many, many a time in this playthrough so far, they just seem more creative than in Skyrim, you know? They just seem um, like Skyrim so much of the time is go into this tomb and read four journals and kill a bunch of Draugr on the way and uh, then fight a boss that doesn't even give you a unique item half the time. But in Oblivion, it seems to be a little bit different. Um, so yeah, let's take a look one more time just to make sure what we're doing. Caught in the hunt, uh, we need to find this woman's husband. And he owe, uh, he owed a great deal of money to a usurer uh, named Curden Grodragal. So we're looking for him in the Lonely Suitor Lodge. And let's see who we've got. Greetings, what is it? What? Looks like they What's are upstairs, on, whoever it is. Why? I've heard that the great houses of hey. And there's Curden. Yeah, what do you want? I'm looking for a Laren Loach. None of your damn business. I'd tell you if I liked you. And I don't. That sounds to me like you want me to persuade you. This better be good. Okay, let's see. Now, I, I don't know, in fact, if the persuasion mechanic has anything to do with these people's faces or, or their temperament, right? So this guy is an asshole orc man, right? So you would think that he would, like, um, I don't know, uh, admire or boast, but he wouldn't like Jeff. I, I mean, I feel like as a developer, they would do something like that, right? So let, let's, let's test that theory out. I'm going to assume that this guy... Um, he wouldn't like coerce because he's a big tough orc. He wouldn't like joke, but he might like boast. He might like admire, and he would like maybe boast the most or maybe admire the most. So let's see if that's how it turns out to be. Uh, he hates admire. He really likes boast. Let's go for Such that. Such adventures. How I envy you. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. He Oh, he decently likes joke, and he doesn't really like this You're one too much. Don't waste. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Okay, so I have to remember that, and I my brain is so fleeting that it's an issue for me. So, loves boast, likes joke, uh, he hates admire, and he doesn't like coerce, okay? So, um, let's go for this one. Such adventures. How I envy you. Yeah, okay. And then that <laughs> one, and then that one. Sure. Don't uh, yeah, so... Me. As many people have said, you have to you have to leave the the smallest bit on the one that they hate the most. That's the most important. So I'm did I I, I, I that was that was that was a wrong thing to do in that situation. Um, let's go here Not bad. here. What nonsense! Uh, here That's and amazing. here. <laughs> you can't scare me. That wasn't too good either. Uh, okay, this one, yeah. this one, Don't try to that one, such that one. You're wasting your breath. Okay, that was a little bit better. Also, we have a lot of gold. Handsome can't do better than that. Maybe I know him, maybe I don't. But since you're so interested, I know something that could jar my memory. And what is that? 
I just learned that a family heirloom, the Axe of Dragol, which one of my stupid relatives lost, is located on Fort Grief Island in Nibbin Bay. My informant tell me it's hidden in the main keep at the center. Don't know what's guarding it, but I'm sure you can handle it. If you go there and bring it back to me, I'll tell you exactly where Alaron is. And if I don't return it? Then Alaron may not be coming home from his, uh, journey for a very long time. Like, permanently. Whenever you're ready, and it better be soon, I'll have a boat waiting for you to get to Fort Grief Island. Tell me more about Alaron Loach. Time's wasting. He's safe for now. Are you ready to go? Fine, but you better not take too long. I want that axe, and I want it now. What is this quest called? I could have caught in the hunt. Curtin Grow Dragal has told me that he knows the location of Alaran Loach, and if I want him to reveal to me, I'll have to retrieve an axe that belonged to his father and was lost on Fort Grief Island some time ago. If I don't bring the axe back, he says that Alaran will die. When I'm ready, I need to speak to Curtin, who will provide a boat for me. But this is really interesting. I'm getting confused with another side quest that I don't know if this is the same one or not. And I feel like every single playthrough I ever do, I always have this confusion. So let's go ahead and see if that's the case. Are you ready to go to the boat? I'm actually not. I know I keep uh, toying with you, but the question is, you are able to be killed, interestingly enough. Wow, you have a lot of gold as well. Thief, you won't get away with this. Okay, so that's actually not breaking the law, right? I'm going to go ahead and save. Even if it is breaking the law, I don't think it's that big of a deal. What I really would like... Oh, no, but we already... Oh, not good. Okay, can we reload that auto save? Okay, we can. Excellent. I'm going to reload this real quick. And we're going to run through all of his dialogue super duper quickly. Yeah, what? Oh, right. Okay. Say what you're going to say. Um, okay. Let's just go ahead and do it the easy way. Oh, that's just... Oh, right, because we bribed him. Duh, I always forget that I can loot back the money. Ugh. Okay, that's usually because I don't play um, I don't play characters that steal, but in this case, Darvesh would obviously steal his gold back. Are you ready to... Okay. You've got some nimble fingers. What have you been getting into? Well, hopefully this guy's pockets, if you will leave the room, sir. Thank you very much. Now, let's save the game. And this time he's got 845 gold because obviously we gave him some more. So he starts off with a certain level of gold because we paid him about, I don't know, 450 to 500. Hoo hoo hoo, boy! It's like taking candy from a big uh, armored orc. All right, the other thing that I want to do is we're going to save again. And I would like to see if we kill him because you'll notice he's actually, uh, he's killable. Uh, so I want to see if we kill him, what happens? Look out! Read you slow. Now again, Mayrune's Razor has a chance to instantly kill them. I don't know if we've... See, I think that effect was... I think that happened right there. Uh, I think the effect happened. It was hard to tell because his uh, health bar was very low. But I'm pretty sure that just instantly killed him at the end. One of the characters needed to complete this quest has died. Oh. And he doesn't really have anything else. Um, okay, interesting. That's a... I mean, I don't really see that message too often because most of the time they uh, make them essential so that you cannot kill them so that exact situation doesn't happen. I don't know why I exited because now we are actually going to go ahead and take his boat, which of course we need to talk to him for. So, Father, are you ready to go to the boat? That I am. I'm ready. Fine. I have it waiting for you at the dock next to the magic shop. Now get out of my sight. You don't have to be so rude about it. Tell me more about the Axe of Dragol. Yeah. It's a battle axe with the word Dragal carved into the haft. Huge. You can't miss it. I ain't gonna draw you a picture. I bet you can't draw. I bet your drawing skills are actually pretty crappy, aren't they? Lucky I'm not making you so Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna kill you, mister, some way or another. I mean, you, you're killable, so I would be very, very careful as to how you talk to me, Mr. Orc. Uh, I have literally a dagger that can instantly kill somebody, regardless of how much armor you have. So here's Curtin's boat. 
Let's take it. Uh, now, think to yourself, it's pretty interesting that we have to take a boat to get to a location that we should be able to just get to normally, right? I've arrived at Fort Grief. I should proceed inside the ruined keep and begin my search for the axe. Now, interestingly enough, let's take a look at where we are in the map. Uh, on the map, Fort Grief. Now, why wouldn't we be able to just literally swim here? Um, I guess it's just to make it easier. I'm not exactly sure. But apparently, our axe lies within the fort. Uh, the question is, is there any Nern route around the fort? Uh, since this is kind of like a unique sort of um, quest here, a unique sort of little island here, I wonder if the developers thought to themselves, well, yeah, we need to put some Nern route here, you know, since it is a little island. Um, I don't know. That would be cool. But so far, I am not seeing any. Now, this looks kind of interesting, doesn't it? But there's no entrance like I thought there may be. Okay, looks like there's no Nern route, which is quite a disappointment to me, in fact. Uh, let's go ahead, use the turn handle. You have activated the for, uh, the gate to Fort Grief. Okay, that's not a great sign to start off with. Some, um, what looks like paint, but is actually blood. And it's in the middle of day, too. So. Oh, no. Well, there's a Laren Loach. Hey, buddy. We can just literally swim over to the, to the, to the coast. It appears as though Kurdan has tricked another poor soul with his axe story. The axe story? You haven't guessed it yet. There never was any axe of Dragol. It was just a ruse to lure you out here. I fell for the same trick. In my case, he told me if I retrieved the axe, he'd erase my debts. I was such an idiot to believe him. You're now the prey in Kurdan's insane hunt, just like I am. And here we'll most likely die. <laughs> well, that's where you're wrong. Clever ruse. I wonder how many have died falling for it. Kurdan doesn't make most of his money being a simple usurer. He also invented what he calls the Hunter's Run. People pay him a great deal of money to hunt and kill living human prey. No questions asked, and he takes care of the bodies. He uses the dungeons under Fort Grief as the hunting grounds. I was placed here because he knew someone would go looking for me. I'm sorry you got mixed up in all of this. I hope you can fight. It's our only chance of escaping alive. I can fight. I have a boat nearby. Don't bother. The door to this place is now locked. The only way to get out is by descending into the Hunter's Run and killing the Hunters. One of them will have the key to the door. That's Kurdan's rules. It's the only way we can win. I wish I could help more, but I can't fight. I've never held a weapon before in my life. Please, get us out of here. I'm not a rich man, but if we get out of here alive, I'll do what I can to reward you. Kurdan is treacherous. Be wary, friend. Okay, I mean, there are literally weapons on the ground. Would you rather just stay out here? You could literally just grab it and, I don't know, you know, st stick them with the pointy end, my friend. It's not that hard. But okay, all right. So it looks like we've been placed in the most dangerous game, which is, yeah, one of the reasons that I get confused about this quest, because if you take a look, the quest is called Caught in the Hunt, and it's clearly a reference to the most dangerous uh, game, which I read in high school, uh, kind of like a short story about, um, you know, hunting man, which is the most dangerous game because he's the most ingenious. So we can't even interact with the door. I wonder, though, it looks like we need to go through here. Old wooden door to the hunter's run. The hunters have no idea what awaits them once I enter. Uh, and they put this here, which is actually a nice touch because if you think about it, what if you lock yourself in here and you, you know, don't have any weapons for whatever reason? Well, guess what? They provide crappy weapons, so you've got that at least. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, you just got your choice of a bunch of different weapons and armor. Um, interesting that they would let you just come here with... You know, interesting that they don't set it up. I, I think the quest could have been a little more um, interesting if they made it so that you... I don't know, Curtin says something about, Oh, well, you need to relinquish your armor and weapons because, I don't know, some excuse. And then you have to come here and there's, you know, various crappy weapons. But you can choose which one you'd like, you know, if you could choose a, an axe or a bow or what have you. But we're stuck with what we've got. Uh, let's explore this outside area just a bit. I mean, there's not going to be a way to get out, but I do want to see if there's any way, since we've got a nice bit of acrobatics. It'd be nice to see if there's some way that... I mean, this looks like it. Yeah, why couldn't we jump over? Oh, look at... Okay, so this is why I was exploring, because I was wondering 
yeah, if there was any sort of situation where there were hidden items. And look at this, we've got a wooden chest that is a hard lock. Shadow Banish Wine. Night Eye for 240 seconds on self. Drain Agility, 10 points. Drain Intelligence. But you just get Night Eye? Okay. Well, we're a Khajiit, so obviously we've got that inherently. Now, I want to see if I can't jump over. Ooh. A Venerable Vintage. I've come across a bottle of wine which, with markings I've never seen before. I can barely make out Shadow Banish Wine on the label. Must be quite valuable. I should hold on to it until I find out more. I remember the name of this quest, but I do not remember what this quest deals with. Okay, now I want to see if I can't use my cat-like reflexes to jump over one of this, uh, oh, one of these little... <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to do the... It's where that speedrunner tactic sort of comes into play, the, um, you know, the skooma jump, because you're using the momentum. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Even if we could get out, obviously we're going to complete the quest anyways. Oh, look at this. Uh, red silk robes, red silk hood, some different stuff here, some flowers, some gold. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Uh, and you can sleep as well if you need a level up. Get us out of here. That's what I'm going to do right now. So we need to hunt the hunted. Or we need to hunt the hunters. Which I don't think we're going to have any issue doing. Uh, one of the hunters apparently has a key. The lock cannot be picked. You need a key. So it might go to that right there. Now unfortunately for them, I mean, they've chosen to, to prowl very dark corridors. Which is exactly where a character like, uh, like Khajiit, like Darvesh, would... Uh, would flourish <laughs> as you can see there okay curtains imperial hunter Ooh, thank you very much okay so obviously everybody's starting to have you know higher level things like i've said before um the glass is probably a good thing to take because it weighs a little bit and it's worth quite a lot so we'll take the curious uh we'll take one from each enemy here actually no we'll just we'll just as as long as we're doing side quests, uh, it's not that big of a deal because um, we can just go back, you know, at any time and sell all of these things. So, yeah, we'll try to take as much as possible from uh, this point forward since we're not sort of relegated to the Shivering Isles. Okay, one hunter down. Oh, there's a little rat over there. I do want to kind of explore just to see if they've given us any sort of um, any sort of supplies that we could utilize. <laughs> You would have thought one of those hunters would have killed uh, these rats by now. I mean, they're just kind of coexisting. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, there's skeletons here. I mean, if I was designing this quest, the way I would make it uh, was that, um, you know, these skeletons would have certain items on them that you could loot in case you went here with, uh, maybe you started this quest really early. You don't really have a lot to fight these hunters with. Something like that. That would have been cool, in my opinion. Okay, we've got like a weird... Um, Whoa! Okay, that was a trap that I just totally did not recognize. Yeah, we've got some sort of this weird... Uh, there's like a tunnel over here, so let's get a big deep breath. Let's see where this goes. Maybe it's like... Ooh! Don't mind if I do. That's very nice to see. Okay, what else do we have? There's like a pit trap here. Okay. But yeah, this quest is a reference to the most dangerous game. Um, I just thought that the name said the most dangerous game but i guess not i thought it was exactly the most dangerous game uh in the in terms of the quest name but um yeah definitely a reference uh very cool story that did a lot unless it was the other trap that did uh that much damage to me our, our health is significantly reduced let's go ahead and activate this trip wire that uh that activates some poison gas very uh, reminiscent to the poison gas that's found in skyrim ow Okay, there's the pit trap. Let's hop over that. Let's see. We've got a hunter probably over there by the gas traps. And we've got another hunter that's through a door. So obviously we'll take care of the gas traps first. There's a chest here with one elven... Oh, actually, that says four, I think. Four elven arrows and some gold. Uh, gold wouldn't really come into handy in this particular situation, but cool nevertheless. Yeah, okay, so this is where we came from. Looks like we do, uh, do need to go past that poison trap. I don't know where the last hunter would be. Well, let's head this way. What's activate? Am I hitting like a... Oh, there's the hunter. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, really unfortunate for these guys to literally... Be standing with their backs turned to me. And also, they're patrolling super dark hallways. Not the best. And we got, uh, we got some gold second hunter's run key. And some more glass armor. Uh, okay, very cool. Now, let's see. We've got one kind of... Ooh, I'll take that as well. We've got, like, a door to go through. 
Strong potion of healing. Don't mind if I do. Uh, also, more chests. God, the skeleton key makes things so easily. Uh, so easy, sorry. Okay, let's see. Um, I think we just need to keep heading this way. And a Daedric Longsword as well. Yeah, I think we'll stop at around 350 just to give us 100. Uh, the Hunter's Abyss. Ooh. I think we'll stop at 100 and... Uh, we'll stop at 350 carry weight, uh, carry weight since we have about 450. Uh, just in case we need to grab any sort of unique weapons or armor. Uh, and that'll be like our sort of modus operandi from here on out when we're looting things. Okay, I'm going to put you rats out of your misery. I could literally just let you live, but why not, you know? Why not just end your suffering? I feel like there's no food down here. Okay, hoop. There's a little alcove over there, but it doesn't look like there's anything, even if we were able to jump up there. So far, so good. This quest is super duper easy. Uh, like I said, I mean, it just doesn't, uh, just doesn't bode well for the hunters in a situation like this. Um, I guess I'll just jump over the traps since activating them starts this poison gas, which doesn't even look that bad. I mean, it looks like you have to be literally on top of it um, in order for it to affect you. Okay, there's a bed there. I guess we could utilize if we want to sleep and regain our health. Now, there's the final hunter, it seems, and these guys were just all too easy. Uh, let's stay out of the light, though, and let's get some more sneak shots on him, sneak hits on him. Again, turning his back to me. Okay, and who are you? Curtains or Hunter? Gaining, uh, he's gaining a bit of health, and I do not, I, uh, do not want to fight in here, in the water. Make. Yeah, can you go ahead and hop out of here, please, and thank you. Thank you. Gotcha. I don't know how we retained our sneak. I defeated all of the hunters. I should search the body of the orc hunter for the key to the keep door of Fort Grief. And this guy has a full set of Daedric armor. Take a look at that. We're at 336 out of 450, so I suppose we'll just take everything that we can. 525 gold, not bad. I found the key to the door of the keep at Fort Grief. I should now return to Aleron and get us both off of this island. Uh, let's see. So this weighs 60, but it's it's valued at 4,800. Uh, let's take that. And let's take these. And then I think we'll call that a day. Because I don't think we're done here with our rewards. Or maybe we are. We've obviously gotten a lot of gold. Uh, but yeah, this is a cool quest. Pretty unique quest as well. A little boring, if I'm being honest, just because it's kind of just a dungeon quest. But uh, I like it, nevertheless. Okay, so let's see. We've got about three different paths here, which is interesting. You would think it would only be one. Uh, let's go through here. Where is this going? Some more potions and things. I kind of want to fully explore this dungeon. Um... Just to see how they've made the layout, because it seems to be kind of a smaller dungeon. Okay, this is a dead end, as I figured. With a little tiny bit of gold. Nothing else down here except for skeletons. And uh, we're definitely going to kill Curtin, by the way, because he totally tricked us. And Darvesh doesn't take that kind of stuff lightly. Uh, Curtin's definitely going to die, especially given the fact that he's non-essential. Non I mean, we could have killed him at the start, and it completes the quest. Were this kind of a crappy 100% run, I mean, I could have literally just done that. I could have literally just killed Curtin and then boom, the quest is over with. Although, obviously, we uh, miss out on a lot of the rewards. Okay, hopefully I'm going the right way here. That was the first hunter that we found, hopefully. And that looks like the door to me. Didn't even let me move here. That's not fair. I could have saved Aloran. So we can obviously just sneak attack this guy. I'm impressed that you killed all my clients. Doesn't matter. More will come along with their purses fat with gold and hearts lusting for blood. Too bad about Aloran. Didn't need him anymore now that you're here. At least now he's free of his debt. <laughs> you are a heartless, heartless orc, Curden. But I won your game. Do you really think I could afford to let you leave here? The key you found is a fake. No prey has ever left this island alive. Including you now. And I aim to keep it that way. You were right about one thing, though. This is my game, and I'm changing the rules. Too bad I'm extremely agile, though. I'm an extremely agile kid. Whoa! Oh! 
You brought more people? Now that's really not fair. Rajira the Keen Eye. <laughs> more like Rajira the Dead. Uh, let's see. Daedric arrows are always a must. Uh, more glass, but like I said, we're going to hold off because we're pretty close to our carry weight. He also had a Daedric dagger. Not too bad. So you just brought one extra dude, huh? That better be it. Man, you would have thought that an orc would have more honor than that. Okay, time to kill you. Let's see if we can't get the effect to happen where Mayroon's, day, uh, Mayroon's razor instantly kills him. Well, we don't need it because he's extremely weak. I've returned to find Curtin himself standing over the corpse of Alaron, whom he'd murdered. I have no choice but to attack and slay him. I had no choice but to attack and slay him. I should search Curtin's corpse for anything that may help me get out of these ruins. Let's see. Well, he's got beveled gauntlets, which we will take. Fort Grief, real key. The key I discovered on the orc hunter was indeed a fake, and the real key was on Curtin's body. He'd never intended to let us leave whether we won his demented hunt or not. The real key should allow me to unlock the gate room inside the hunter's run, and then leave Fort Grief. I will then have to bring your son the sad news, or or, saying, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, and here is Aloran Loesch, who had Loesch's house key, as well as some gold. And we have a Daedric Battle Axe, which of course is far too heavy for us to utilize at this point in time. The gate is opened elsewhere, so it must uh, utilize the turn key thing. Um, but I didn't see one before. Uh, let's see. Is it pointing it to... Is it pointing it out to me? Uh, I really didn't see... I mean, you would think a key would go towards a gate, right? Am I just missing? It probably looks exactly like um, the other thing. Where could it be? Oh, and by the way, why can't we fast travel, right? Cannot fast travel from this location? Ah, okay. Um, I mean, we don't need to go back inside the Hunter's Run, do we? That seems far too unnecessary. Uh, the, yeah, there has to be that turn key thingamajigger out here somewhere. But, uh, I didn't see it when I was exploring. Where the heck is it? I can't wait to see it, because it's gonna, I'm just gonna, like, smack myself in the head. What did the, what did the quest say? The key I discovered in the Orc Hunter was indeed fake, and the real key was on Kern's body. He never intended to let us leave, blah, blah, blah. Let me unlock the gate room inside the Hunter's Run. Oh, right. Duh. The uh, room that was right next to it. Okay. There we are. And here's the turn handle. Okay. Very cool. And it looks like there's no rewards in here. But we kind of got our uh, our rewards thus far. I mean, this quest has been really good for our coin purse. With tons of uh, armor and weapons and things. But, uh, okay. Let's go ahead and use the boat and head back to Bravel. Which is where Aloran's uh, wife should be. And yeah, unfortunately, we have to give her the... The bad news. Oh, let's see. Okay, looks like she's inside somewhere right up here. Can you spare a coin? I cannot spare a coin, Mr. Pirate Man. Maybe I can spare a coin when you don't have different voices. Okay. Hello there. Something's wrong. I can tell. What's happened to Aleron? Sorry, Ursan. He's dead. When I saw the grave look on your face, I knew something had happened to him. And what of that fetcher, Curtin? He lives no longer. Then Aloran's death has been avenged. I told him that the gambling would lead to this, that foolish man, but he never listened. Before you go, I have this for you. Aloran told me that if he ever got in trouble, this could be used to bail him out of jail. He'll not be needing it any longer. And I want you to have it. I'll not take no for an answer. I know you did all you could. And for that, I thank you. Now please, go in peace. I wish to be alone. Biography of the Wolf Queen. That's it? A book? What are you doing, lady? That's it? Please, I wish to be alone with my thoughts. Okay. Are you okay? I am the healer, Mars of Black Marsh. By the grace of Mara, I am available as an advanced trainer in restoration. Oh, we could actually utilize you, but 
wouldn't really be worth it. Okay, let's go ahead and head out and uh, read that book. Guess knowledge is the real reward, huh? Uh, let us see. Biography of the Wolf Queen, valued at 50. Speechcraft increases. Okay, uh, honestly, skill increases are probably the best reward someone can get. Man, this Morag Tong armor is so awesome, but God, does it look lame. Uh, in fact, I mean, we're probably going to switch over at some point. It definitely is amazing, absolutely, but uh, I'll, I'm all about fashion in my games. I just really am. In Dark Souls, I never go for, like, the actual uh, really good set for PvE or PvP. I just usually go for whatever I find the coolest looking, so I'm not sure. Either way, we're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, again, uh, thank you to everybody that likes the video and shares the video. Um, I don't push my videos, I don't push my social media really a lot at all, so once more, thanks to all of you guys who uh, do like the videos and, and do all those things that really help me out. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.